So yeah. Hello, I am the genius Dr. Krygor. I made a miscalculation and now I have an output error. Urgent. Flush this thing 15 times to restore order. My games are realistic. Gentle, let us begin. Alright. So, so, so yeah, let's take a look at this. The, the Krygor's lab. Yeah, yeah, there's a beaker full of whatever. So you, so, so you decided to dance for a bit. But then he gets tired after dancing for like tenths of like five seconds. And actually drinks the chemical he was preparing. See, I gotta say, he's pretty lucky that this is the only thing that Chemical did to him, because, you know, Chemicals have a bad habit of, you know, murdering people. Anyway, just press the A button to eat the burialistic bananas. It's pretty much just the development team saying, hey, how about, how good are we at digitizing pictures? Well, how's that for really realistic, anyway? That's not bad, it's not, not that really. What, you cut steak with a bar knife? What kind of masochist are you? There we go. Yeah, so it's just uh, the development team seeing how good they are at digitizing pictures. Beat your asses! This one, is, this one that takes a little time to learn. You have to press the A button while the cat's eyes are closed. It's as simple as that. Oh, hey, another, another mini game where you just mash A. Yeah, these mini games are just weird. They're just weird. They don't really fit the theme of realism that that well at all outside of the graphics, which looks like kind of like uh, cra uh, like crap, crappy digitized stuff, which I'm not a big fan of. I dropped it perfectly. No, you made the donkey cry. So I'll smash all of you. No, I think the hearts are a little more assembly than that, but okay. Now the boss stage. Not a huge fan of this boss stage, I gotta say. It's basically just uh, it's, you use up and down, up and down to to move your laser. It just laser the just laser all the moon rocks to death. Use your lasers to destroy the to, to kill moon rocks. That simple. Somehow those tiny meteorites would have still destroyed the Earth, though, don't ask how. Yeah, yeah, now you, now you get to destroy the, pot, the evil pot that's attempting to shoot lasers, uh, meteors at the Earth. So yeah, don't ask me what the hell just happened in any of those micro games. So what, like the evils of marijuana to, to attack the earth? Anyway. How, how much did you pass? We should be dead. Dr. Krygor, you should not, you should no longer be alive. You 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 just, you just pissed out more water than like your entire body has in it. Time to die, Mr. Mad Scientist. It's the, the, the sparrow helps him. So yeah, now he's swimming in midair because why wouldn't he be? The location just looks weird. It looks like he's driving an invisible car or something. So yeah, no sparrow, and he can still swim in midair. So that bird, uh, that bird, blessed him with the ability to fly somehow. Very good indeed. My gentle theory was valid. Yes. What gentle theory? The theory that I don't like any of your mini games. Because <laughs> that's actually a correct theory, if it is. Anyway. 
Hurdle. Two player craziness. Hop over the hurdles. Use rapid fire to get you through the tight spots. He use it once again, L and R. It's Orbion Dr. Krygor competing with a heart of horror contest for some reason. Now here by a, a favorite set from this one, John and Nature. Hi, I'm Cat. The little sis Anna asked me to use my ninja cuteness and save Princess it's Jando in room 25. You think flowers and animals are neat, so we put them in our games. So yeah, this, this is indeed my, my favorite one, so we, oh yeah. Jimmy Maul in Jando's castle. Wait, I own a castle? Why didn't, why didn't no one tell me about this? Like, can, can I move into my castle? Oh god. So there's a weird thing showing up in the moon. Yeah, I look nothing like that. How dare you? So yeah, apparently, apparently there's a giant dual, dual sword wielding skeleton samurai attacking me with blue fire. Prince Jando must be saved! You suck! You all suck! Come, challenge me! You suck! Even more! You suck more than the other guys did. And she sends out a little for her for help, because of course she does. And then she hangs herself. And I get and I turn into a weird possessed guy. You know what? I don't think your failure was that bad. You don't need to hang yourself over it. Ninja girl, save me! And then she just and then she walks over to where she needs to be saved. Very slowly. Seriously, just by the way the seasons are changing. Like, look at this. It's gonna take- it's, it literally takes her like a year to walk to walk. How slow are you? So, so yeah. But yeah, this play- this stage is actually- it's actually kinda cool, I have to say. Sometimes. Come to me! I don't, want, I don't want to come to you. So yeah, it looks like I might have, I might have misjudged things a little bit, considering this is actually the this is actually one of the ones where you have to do 25 games in a row, and also that intro is actually decently long. It also helps this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one has some of the better like cutscenes out of all these micro games. So yeah, all these stages and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, and uh, I anyway. Uh, no, no. We we will uh, take you'll actually do this stage next time with the tall rumble. See you guys then.